Morning, y'all. Okay, it's the day before Friendsgiving. Thanksgiving? Friendsgiving. That's when we have our friends come over. Your legs are too big for that. Thank you so much. And, um, y'all don't, mm -mm. we've been cleaning all morning, but I have to make a run. Um, I don't think she sent the address. Text her again, Jackson, for the address. And, um, so we have right now confirmed about 25 people, our family included, so 22 outside of us. And then I just reached out to a friend, and I think there's like seven in their family. So that's probably 30 people confirmed for tomorrow's event. Mm -hmm. Miss, I, I needed the address. So, um, instead of trying to fit that many people inside of my house, we are going to uh, utilize some of our outside yard space. And yes. so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna meet a friend over at her place and get some tables so that we can set up some outside um, seating for people. Okay, perfect. So, but she, we were supposed to meet her at 10, but she had somebody else there and she said she couldn't do 10, but then she just called me right now. She's like, hey, can you come right now? So it's like, okay, let me just get myself together. And I have my niece and my nephew with me this morning because their mom had to go work. So I am on my way out there now to pick up those tables. We're gonna run back over here real fast. The only other thing that I just thought about as I was thinking about the side yard is, is daylight savings time and it gets dark quickly or earlier than normal. And while I do have some outside lights, I don't have a ton of them. So I wanted to, um, I'm gonna go over to Walmart and make sure that I have enough lighting for the event. I have one big string of lights, which do give some really decent light, but I wanna make sure that I have enough lights in case people just wanna hang out. Jackson and I are doing outside projects today because, um, we're gonna have somebody in the house doing some work for us. So I'm gonna get out of the house so that they can have their um, space and the dogs, right? Cause I don't wanna leave the dogs inside cause sometimes people are not dog friendly. And so what I'm gonna do is make sure that I uh, take the dogs outside. So I've got some um, leaves and different things that we were raking up leaves yesterday and trying to just prune bushes and different things just trying to make it look nice outside nobody will be on that side of the of the yard but still i want it to be nice for anybody that does potentially come out there now i do have a little fire pit but yesterday when we were out there looking um my yard guy mr jerome had put some wood into it and it has bent the leg so i'm gonna see if we can unbend the leg for one so that it stands up and if we can possibly have a fire pit going because tomorrow is supposed to be 60 is the high and I don't want anybody to catch a chill. I forgot about the fire pit. But um, I'm not sure if it will all go off without a hitch, but I can give it a whirl, right? Um, the kids and I are eventually going to build a fire pit somewhere. And then we also thought about getting a little chimney but we don't have one at the moment. So we're just gonna make do what we have. If people get too cold, they can go inside the house, no problem, because we have heat in the house. Anywho, we're gonna roll over here, pick up these tables. We'll pick you guys back up when we get to where we're going this morning. Alright you guys, so we're in the kitchen now, right? We've done all the things that we needed to do. Well, we've done most of the things. So I'm going to open up this box. This is from Viber. They sent me a food warmer, right? Because I'm going to have to be cooking food ahead tomorrow. 
And even though we're doing a low country boil and it should be done in 15 minutes or less, I still have other things that I need to get situated. So I'm gonna set you guys up on a tripod and I'm gonna open this and let you guys see what it looks like. Sorry, Mom. Where are you hiding? Oh, that's good. Move the box. All right, y'all, so this is the Beaver. It is the Electric Bain Marie Countertop Food Warmer. And how this works, I'll get Alana to come over. So this has a inside well. And what you'll do is you put a little bit of water. It has like a fill line, like a minimum fill line for water down here. And it shows you. So you put a little water in the bottom of this, plug it in, turn on the heating portion. And so it will heat the water up and then you'll put your trays in to keep the tray, the food warm inside of this, right? Because there is no insert, right? There's no insert that comes inside. So this is the insert. And then you would put your trays or, you know, if you have different, um, say your food came in different containers. I could even put a glass dish in here as long as I don't overfill it, right? With my water just to keep it um below the food line so that's how this works so tomorrow what i have to do and i could fill it up more i could fill it up way more because then these trays right here actually have the sides and so it actually um, leans on these sides and what i'm going to be doing tomorrow is i may have to cook the potatoes first because i don't think i have a big enough Hot for all the food that I'm going to be putting in tomorrow. And so with that being said, um, this is just going to help us keep whatever needs to be warm, warm. And um, easy cleanup, easy for uh, cleaning because you just remove your whole tray, empty out your water, clean it with just a wet, damp cloth. It should not get any um, food on it at all. I mean, it should not. But in case it does, of course, unplug it, and then you want to uh, clean it that way. Okay, all right. So they also sent us some of these servers, serving spoons, which are always helpful. I'm just gonna throw that in the trash over there. It's always helpful to have good serving servingware. They sure don't want you to open it. Oh no, they packaged it up in here right now. Lots of school. They gave us two servers. We've got a slotted server and then a non-slotted or like a ladle. So a slotted ladle and then a non-slotted ladle, which makes it very convenient because I don't have to find additional servers. I'm just gonna sit this here because we can also put the trays like this. If I had smaller trays, but this one would have to go down. This one you could put on top like that. Or if you had the shorter ones, if I had the shorter pans, I could have had two of them at one time with the water underneath. So better planning on my my um, part next time. But again, this is gonna be helpful because I think I'm gonna have to put the potatoes in here because I have a ton of potatoes, like almost 15 pounds of potatoes to cook. So 15 pounds of potatoes, about 16 pounds of crab, um, six pounds of 
shrimp, six pounds of sausage. Fish. I have three pounds of fish fillets. I have 30 eggs or 36 eggs and then corn. So all of that's being cooked tomorrow for the, and then I'm cooking a ham and I'm also doing some cold salads. And then if we need to go out into the garden and pick a fresh salad, we have lettuce out there to do that. We've got cheese. We have all the fixings for a fresh salad, which I may be able to do tomorrow. So that's what we have. I'll bring you over and show you this last couple of things. So over here, I had to make another trip out to the grocery store. I forgot a few things. So I'm doing a banana pudding-ish type recipe tomorrow. So that's what these items are for. My sister's bringing... Um, my sister is bringing a dessert, but I'm going to do one as well. And then I needed to pick up um, just a few things for the butter sauce. This is going with the dessert. I actually have some peaches that's going here as well. And then I was able to finally find the Fuji Apple American Clear Water. So I'm going to use that for the hot apple cider. So between all the things that we have um, going on, I think we're going to be straight for tomorrow. So this is video one in our Friendsgiving series. We will be filming the getting ready for Friendsgiving. And then actually, hopefully you will be able to catch some of our friends who will be attending Friendsgiving. So oh, so much for coming to our second annual Friendsgiving. Uh, somebody asked me one time, if you could have any type of house, what kind of house would you have? And I said, one where people felt welcome. So I do hope that while you're here, you do feel welcome to be with our family. If you don't get out, no, I'm just teasing. That was a thing. <laughs> you know, don't eat the shrimp yet. Just go on about your business. But uh, my kids and I are so happy to have you. We don't often have guests. We are usually going out to places and being hospitable there. But feel free. Restroom is here. If you need more privacy, there's a restroom in my bedroom, which is right over here. There's all the things. Jackson's working on the butter sauce. It's the very last thing that's going to go over your shrimp crab oil. If it's not good, Jackson made it. If it's great, praise God. <laughs> There's ham, there's rolls, there's sweet potato pie, there's all the things. More than anything, your presence makes me happy. So I'm glad you're here. There is a hot bar. This is hot apple cider, non-alcoholic. Uh, we also have coffee if anybody needs that. Right down here. Like, if your best hot coffee bite or hot chocolate, whatever the things. We're always welcome. We got biscuits. We have cornbread. There is a Mexican cornbread and a regular cornbread. It does have corn in it, so you might see that later. Okay, there we go. <laughs> It's funny because it's true. Oh, no. so, yeah, 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 yeah. We also have a little macaroni salad, but whatever is here, you are welcome to. And if you don't see it on the table, let me know how line is right up the street. So, okay, anybody, Casey, pray. Father, we thank you for this day and what it represents. Yes. And for what is coming, thank Lord, we give you glory. I speak a blessing over every single family represented in this room tonight, all the way down to the dogs. May they be blessed wherever they go back to. Abba, we give you glory tonight. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy. It has followed us here and it will follow us as we go home. We praise you, we honor you, and thank you for tonight. We bless the hands that have made the food. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Anywho, we're going to call this video a wrap. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't, hit that little bell. That way you never miss an upload from us. Thanks so much for stopping by. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now. For us, Friendsgiving was more than about the food. It was about the family all showing up and pitching in so that we could provide a great opportunity to serve those who showed up at our house. Yes, we ate great food, but we also enjoyed the kitchen camaraderie. We enjoyed it when friends showed up and acted like they were truly at home. Whatever we do, remember to do all things as unto the Lord. And if for some reason you don't get invited to Friendsgiving, why not plan and host a Friendsgiving of your own? You're not always going to be invited, but you can do the inviting. Look at those smiles on those beautiful faces. I'm so thankful that they decided to accept my invitation.